Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my tutorial for the plugin Chunky by Pop4959, which is a plugin that allows owners to pre generate chunks efficiently and safely, more so than any plugin in the market right now, especially when compared to the outdated World Border plugin. This plugin is compatible with Minecraft versions 1.13 and above. So the base command for this plugin is going to be slash chunky. But our tutorial is not going to start with a start command. Instead, we're going to have to set things up a little bit first. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to specify the world. We're going to do chunky world. And we only have one world on this server for simplicity's sake. So the world has been changed to world. Now we're going to set the center of where our chunky generation will start. So you could do this either by doing chunky center followed by the X and Z coordinates or doing chunky spawn. But what I find even easier is doing chunky world border. If you set up your Minecraft world vanilla border, so this is without the world border plugin, uh, chunky can just take that information right away. So the center for the chunky generation will begin at 0, 0, and the radius is set to 3 with a bunch of zeros afterwards. If that generation seemed like a lot, don't worry, you can specify the radius as well. You can run the command slash chunky radius followed by the updated radius. For this tutorial, I'm going to set it kind of low. We can just set it to 2000 and the radius has just been updated. You can also specify the shape that you want it to generate. This is really optional. By Minecraft default, it's going to be a square. But if you have a world border plugin such as Chunky Border, which is an add-on for the Chunky plugin, or even the world border plugin, you can change the shape to all sorts of stuff like oval, circles, stars, whatever. You can also specify a pattern as well. So if you do Chunky Pattern, you get three options concentric that is actually the default where it starts in the center and it slowly expands which is the recommended there's also the loop where it goes from one x side to the z side you know that's fine and the spiral is more of a novelty um, it's not really used that often so we can go ahead and specify the concentric i believe it has the best performance out of all of them so I think that's the most important and from there we can go ahead and run the command chunky start so the task has been started for the world at 00, zero with a radius of 2000 from here we're gonna go to the server console and see what's going on there so here we are in my server console I'm not really on a beefy server or anything this is my test server but as you guys can see here the process is being run quite smoothly here here it gives you an update on the percentage of how far the chunk generation is and we haven't been running it for too long and you also get an estimated time of arrival and right now it's set to around 20 to 30 minutes it depends on the rate at what it, it's going and as you guys can see it's going at a pretty consistent 30 to 45 chunks per second on more advanced and heavy duty servers you know on my main survival server it often goes you know 100 200 300 chunks per second there are a lot of factors that go into it it's highly recommended if you want to run it for a long time to do it when no players are on but as you guys can see, just with me talking a little bit, the percentage went up quite a bit. So we got a lot done. And it also tells you how many chunks total have been processed. All right, before I wrapped up the video, I just wanted to bring your guys' attention to a few things. You could do chunky silent. And running this command um, does not give update messages within the console. And you can also run the command chunky quiet followed by an interval so you can do 30 and this makes it so you only get update messages about your chunky progress every x amount of seconds so this can be really helpful if you're also using your console to do other work besides the chunky generation on top of that there are a few commands related towards your 
chunky process in general, you can run the command chunky pause and that just pauses the task for your world. You could also run the command chunky continue and as you would guess, this just keeps the task running again. You could also run the command chunky cancel and what the, this does is it just stops and deletes your current or saved tasks. So if we were running a chunky that maybe we set the border too large, you know, we just cancel it and then it would stop it. So if we were to run the command chunky cancel, you're just gonna run chunky confirm and the chunky pre-generation has been stopped. This is actually a process that you can undo in the configuration as well. So yeah guys, that's going to do it for the plugin Chunky. Again, I highly, highly recommend this plugin if you are running a survival server that experiences periodic lag or if you use the plugin Random Teleport. Chunky would really, really help out with your server's performance. So I'll leave a link to Chunky down in the description below. I'll also leave the IP to my server Barbercraft down in the description below as well. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you guys later. Peace.